Point Train Basin Restoration for the next five years. Introduced by the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Graves, Mr. Richmond. Uh, it reauthorizes the program for the next five years, as, as you mentioned, 20 million annually over five, and caps EPA's administrative expenses at 5%. At our June subcommittee hearing, we received testimony on the current threat to the region and its watershed covering a 10,000 square mile area. It faces impacts, as you stated, from logging, urban and agriculture runoff, sewage overflows, and non-point source pollution. It is another example of human development having an extreme impact on the entire watershed, causing entire dead zones, as we are now seeing, with impaired wetlands prevented from acting as natural filters for these pollutants, the entire lake is at risk. The program represents a collaborative effort between state, federal, and local entities to restore the ecological health of the basin. I support 4275, and you'll back balance of my time. I thank the I recognize Ranking Member Graves for the statement. Thank you, Chairman DeFazio. Uh, I support H.R. 4275, the Protect and Restore Lake Pontchartrain Basin Act. I know this bill is near and dear uh, to Representative uh, Garrett Graves and his constituents are in Louisiana. I do